sorry, this is just one of those areas where I really feel the age difference. I mean, well, this and your total ignorance of the clash. Hey, I can all sing along with like 80% of combat rock. You're a solid B plus there. Uh, London Calling is next on the syllabus. I'm ready for it anytime. Oh, seriously though, your friends are just now getting married. I'm worried that when they start to have kids, you're gonna want them too, and by then it'll be too late for me. Why didn't you say anything? I didn't know you thought that. I, I struggled with it more than I let on, and in the end, I didn't bring it up because I didn't know if I'd want to get pregnant, even if you did have a change of heart. I always worried that I, I wouldn't be a, a good enough mother or, or make enough money or have enough time, and it, it's hard for me to sort out how much of my disinterest in being a mother is because I'm just really not maternal or because I doubt myself too much. Whatever it is, it's not too late. You're not even halfway through your life. You can still make it whatever you want. That's easy for you to say, okay? I mean, I had this moment a few weeks ago. I was at a bar waiting for a friend and I was, I was watching this couple, you know, young in their 20s. I was watching them and I thought they could still do anything. You know, they can get married or not, they can have kids or not, they can quit their jobs and move to Rome or Beijing, they could become Spanish interpreters or computer programmers. And, and I used to feel that way about my own life, that I still had choices, that I still had things to do, that, that nothing was set in stone, but watching that couple, I realized, I mean, I made my choices. All those doors are closed and I didn't notice the moment they slammed shut. Before you have kids, you just don't understand how it will change your life. The women's movement said we could have it all, but that was a lie. I quit sculpting. Your father stopped acting. <laughs> your Aunt Tracy living with us when she was in college was the only thing that kept me sane during those years. You're giving me a lot to look forward to, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be counterculture. When I was pregnant, I had this fantasy of doing the craft fair circuit with my baby. She'd be on my back in a snuggly, and then when she got a little older, she'd stand behind the counter looking cute, making change for customers. I was going to raise her on protests and music festivals and meals made from scratch. The front yard was going to be filled with sculptures I made, and the backyard was going to be a garden. I was going to grow kale. <laughs> <laughs> 